So this is a short video about my diesel van. I had lots of people asking about it. It's a, a weekender, 1990. It was an automatic gas, and I had converted it to diesel. AAZ a couple of years ago, and I converted to uh, to uh, synchro as well. Get rid of that automatic transmission. Not that I have anything against the automatic transmission. It's just uh, just wanted the synchro. That's all. So. It's got pretty, the latest, you know, 9091 interior carpets and seats with adjustable armrests. And uh, got the proper diesel tack as well. Runs about 2,900 or so on the highway with the tires that I have on, which are um, uh, Cooper Discovery, or Discoverer, AT to the power of three, whatever that means. And they're pretty good tires. They're fairly aggressive all-terrain. They're new. This year, um, 225.75.15. I've got a grey water tank, which is uh, very nice. I think it's about 17 or 18 liters. It's uh, quite big. I've never actually ran out of grey water um, in a week or so of continuous camping. A new propane tank, and of course, an exhaust for my uh, Propex. And this is just, of course, what was a weekend. It had no outlets. So this is uh, my 110 outlet. In the back, everybody has to have stickers. I got my solder panel and a couple of roof racks on the on the top, and my solder panel runs with these uh, two eight gauge wires down into the controller, which is inside, which we can see that in a little bit. I got a Gary Lee ladder and rack, which I'm very very happy with. It's built awesomely. I had to trim up some of the some of the ladder rungs, as you can see, to try to make that a little more. Um, just to clear the, the tire rack, which came from Rocky Mountain Westy. Um, got a, a Westphalia hitch, which uh, tows everything I ask it to tow. I'm not sure what they actually rated for, but it seems to be fairly robust. I have two bike trays. The bikes mount uh, um, on there pretty well, and i got two Yakima fork stanchions, so I can put my front wheel uh, on there after I take them off, and it's pretty secure. My high lift jack held on with quick fist clamps which I keep here at the shop of course. Um, I've got a the Rocky Mountain Westy rear tire carrier. I can't say enough about it. It's very robust. It mounts inside the body oh up past the window there for sure. Inside and there's a plate that you gotta drop down inside the vent to uh, secure that too. It's not just bolted to the tin. And then it has a, a Volkswagen Mark II door latch down here which uh, has a lock mechanism on it. Uh, it's very cool. I have an LED um, rear spotlight or backup light, which I have for the two-wheel drive gas tank used to be. I have a switch to turn that on. And on that back here, and you can see it's unbelievably bright. And it works nice. I, when I open my uh, spare tire rack, well, I can show you. I'll open the spare tire rack, which also carries my pair of uh, water and fuel can. They're both eight liters each, which doesn't sound like a lot, but eight liters is a fair amount. And if you're out, it'll get you where you need to go. So I open this up normally, and then I deploy my Shady Boy awning, which I like, and then this lights up our campsite. It doesn't look like a lot in the daylight, but it's, it's plenty. So... I have the road shower on the roof, which gives me 20 extra liters of, of water. I don't actually use it for the shower as much as I use it just for rinsing dishes or warm water to wash up. Um, in here is just your basic weekender design. I have my good friend Brian built this cabinet. Um, this will house a Dometic uh, toilet, cassette toilet. works awesome, uh, very clean. And it uh, sits in there just perfectly. And I've got 20 liters of water with a submersible pump in there. And our junk drawer. I think everybody needs to have a junk drawer. And sink with pump and a single burner stove. It's about minus 10 here right now, so I'm not really keen on starting any of these appliances up right now. Except the Propex, perhaps which works awesome. Um, in the back, it's the regular weekender. 
bits this houses our linen, which has uh, you know blankets and our curtains and screens and the center shelf in there ho holds some dry goods, some uh, food. I've got a uh, an Osram reading lamp slash map light over where I sleep anyway. I like to read before I go to bed. And we've got a Go Westy mattress topper, which works awesome. Up here is my Propex. Um, it's the Propex thermostat and our uh, Pro Vista um, MPPT controller, which works spectacularly as well. We keep uh, in full sun. I've got 100 watts of solar on the roof, and in full sun, I've got oh somewhere just short of about six amps of uh, current, which is plenty to keep four batteries. I got four 45 amp batteries on board. One under the driver's seat, one under the back seat. And one in each corner behind behind each taillight, which got them spread it along the van. But anyway, it balances the weight out too. I took the upper bunk out. My kids have long since decided they don't want to camp with us anymore. So my wife and I take off and go, and everything works up there for storage. And we sleep downstairs. This is a Northwesty canvas, the Sunbrella one, which I really like. I had to take it apart when I got it. It leaked like a basket, and. Um, just restitched the zipper to the other side of the welting that's there. Um, it was just put together backwards and we took um, all the ones we had in stock actually I took them all apart and changed them back so much to the chagrin of my pocketbook but I didn't want them leaking on my customers. Um, so I've got the normal go westy little trinkety things, the shift extension and I've got the 100 watt lights in the grill. I've got the uh, regular square lights but they're relayed and I ran a new power lead to the uh, to the fuse panel so it would it would certainly carry the, the extra current of four 100 watt bulbs which is a lot a lot more than you think um, it's a, a very comfortable van to drive I've got old man new suspension and H&R springs two inch lift got a, the skid plate on the front I have no armor yet underneath the transmission I do have factory synchro armor to put on it it's just not on there yet. The rims are Passat, um, TDI 2005-ish, oh, no modification required whatsoever. Um, I did put spacers on them just because I like the way they sit, and I think without spacers, the 225 tires would rub the control arms in the back, so this is, you know, no modification to the body. The diesel conversion, of course, which I can go and probably even make another video about that by itself. The airbox sits just behind the tire. And it's completely weatherproof. I've got a snorkel that runs up. It's a factory gas snorkel. And we get a peek in there at it. And it runs in there. It gets plenty of air. Never had an issue whatsoever. Um, what else can I say about this van? You can see sort of all the other options. I've got the uh, wind deflectors on there. And then my, what I call my garage on the top, which is all my tools and spare parts. It's a Pelican case. That fits in the luggage tray perfectly, and it's got me out of trouble a few times. The only trouble I've ever had with this van on the road has been cooling system issues. You know, a split hose or a plastic outlet that I wish I would have changed before I left. Um, and usually somebody else's cooling system problem if I'm traveling with other vanigans. I like to keep water box or stuff here. Anyway, that's it for my very first ever video about this van. And I'm not sure how it's going to edit and post, but I'll do my best. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Over and out.